we're back, and we're going down to Australia to talk to our friend and colleague of many, many years, Dr. Joseph Chapelon, M.D. He has uh, shaken many people and given many others hope and inspiration with his writings and his dissertations and his visits on this program as well. He's an unusual man, to put it mildly, but speaks great truths. And his essay, Terminal Madness of the End Times, can be found at rents.com. I had to pull it up and link it again to him. That was written, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago, and, and everything in it uh, is coming to pass. Hi, Joseph. How are you? Welcome back. Hello, Jeff. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure, sir. How is everything in Oz? Uh, very good. Uh, the weather is very unsettled, unfortunately. We're running into more problems with it, but uh, otherwise all is well. And what we're seeing in the Middle East is obviously another plan by the globalist elite uh, to cause uh, things to be reconfigured, shall we say. What they're doing basically is is capturing more natural resources and stealing all the loot from the dictators that they themselves have put in charge. I guess when these people get to be too rich, it's time to shake them down, kick them out, and take their, uh, take their money, and ultimately take their gasoline, which is what this is really all about. Well, I think you're right. It's obvious that they're, uh, they're running out of resources, they're running out of energy, so they're trying to re-manipulate um, uh, empires and to take greater control and disadvantage the people all the more. The trouble is more and more people are waking up to this now, to the thuggery, and uh, there's more and more trouble all along, and it's infectious. Um, looks like Pakistan might be the next one to go, uh, and it, it will just continue. I, I remember years ago we had a, a show, Jeff, where we were talking about this. I think it was before, just before Iraq was invaded, that there's that energy pattern that causes a lot of trouble and violence around the world. And it may settle for a while, but then it restarts again and it mm -hmm. keeps traveling. Right. And it's been the case for quite a while now. It gets bigger and bigger and causes more and more problems. Now, they don't solve anything. <laughs> no. Ultimately, everyone, everything ends up in more and more chaos. Uh huh. Well, and these people that think they win, the elite that think they win, they really don't win anything. They're never satisfied, they're never happy. And nope. uh, not only that, but I think they have an idea, a very strong idea, that they're going to lose control of the masses, and that's why they've taken precautions like trying to dump them down with chemtrails and have, uh, you know, prison camps um, set up for when the masses do eventually revolt everywhere. Well, there are um, so, many, so many potential solutions to problems that they may... Uh, foresee or, or not foresee that it's not even funny. And they're on the shelf, they're freeze-dried, they're bacterial, they're viral. There are uh, economic weapons that can be used. There's certainly sociological and, and media-derived weaponry that is being used all the time. These are all like dominoes. And David D's art on the homepage at rents.com tells the story. The same basic pattern over and over and over again. Nothing, nothing really new, Joseph, but they're more malicious and ruthless, I think, than they ever have been before. Look at the three million dead in Iraq and the two to three million dead in Afghanistan just in the last 10, 15 years. So death oh, means yeah, nothing to these people. That. And not only that, but they, they get, as you say, they get more and more malicious and vicious until eventually they lose control. It becomes utter chaos. Um, but in the West, they, they're... they're inciting and harassing people in a different way. I think we might have mentioned this in the last program. You, you'd think that the, all these, are, for example, examinations at airports and so on, strict controls um, to supposedly stop terrorists, all about terrorism, but they're not. They're harassing people. They're, they're um, abusing people, manipulating people, and that, that, that um, causes them to be emotionally stressed and lose energy to the system. Mm -hmm. And now governments all around the world, I don't know if you notice, it's, a, it's a ever so slight a trend, but it's obvious, are becoming far more dishonest in every way. And they're taxing people, uh, particularly the poor strata, so that they're inducing uh, quite severe suffering. 
mm-hmm. unnecessarily. The lesson here is just to understand what's going on and not, not buy into it. Don't become emotionally involved. But just step back, step back and understand what it is exactly they're doing. Because on, on this physical plane level, it's, it's all finished. It's all but over. So the future belongs elsewhere. And this is what uh, a point that a lot of people can't get their heads around. Oh, absolutely. Most people yep. see no hope, no future. Uh, I heard some young people talking uh, not too many weeks ago, a couple of guys in their mid-20s, and they were talking about, I don't know what, just the, the usual stuff, going on a trip, having fun. And the one guy said, well, you're going to go back to college. And the guy said, nah, I'm not even going to live to 30. I'm not even going to make it yeah, to 30. That's, 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 I mean, Generation this, X, uh, Jeff, they've got no future. None. No. No, no thought of a future. They don't want to work. They don't want to uh, accumulate. Because from the subconscious, uh, it, it's slowly seeping up into their outer mind mm-hmm. that this system, the whole of this system, is finished. They well, know I, that. Yeah, you may be right. Intellectually, I don't think they can quite grasp it, but it's uh, the consciousness of it is certainly there in many cases. I, I concur. Let me read one paragraph here just to give you an idea. It's at rents.com. You can find it in the search engine. Just type in Terminal Madness and it will pop right up. Each of us, writes Joseph, in some way is being affected by overt fragmentation of the hitherto apparently homeostatic biological systems of Earth. Some are bothered by financial losses, others by deteriorating job prospects, many by illness, pollution, racism, the rage of others at work, on the road, at school, etc. Even the most cursory examination of the various aspects of existence confirms fragmentation of governments, religions, families, communities, nations, ecological systems, financial institutions, educational institutions, diverse races, cultures, and so on. However, the biggest factor which will affect each and every individual is the mental fragmentation which he or she may or may not suffer. Indeed, the majority will suffer this terminal madness of the end time, but some will not. This was written in 1998. That's right. Actually, you've touched on a very good point. A, a significant percentage, small but significant percentage, uh, is reflecting on the, the fact that something very serious is wrong with the world. And that's allowing them to look internally and also seek for answers. Now, my writings aren't for everybody. It's for these people that are actually looking for the truth of things and want to see what to know the solution. And that's the start of the journey to self-realization as to what is going on. The majority are gone. The majority are rabble. They're useless in the sense that uh, they aren't people looking for truth or peace, love or harmony. They're just demonic beings or robotic beings and so on. The next posting I'll do is about the different types of consciousness in the body. I haven't done it because I've been flat out of the medical practice, unfortunately. I know that sounds like a good excuse. Um, but the majority are really are non-viable, Jeff. They're just um, they're hangers-on. They're useless. They're, they're cannon fodder. It's the ones that are seeking, earnestly seeking the answer to what the hell is going on on this planet who are going to make it. They're obviously the viables. They're obviously looking for the line that's being thrown Mm-hmm. for them to be extracted out of this mess and taken elsewhere. Now, this message is very real, but over the 25, 30 years that I've been doing this now, it's clear that we're following a set plan of correction uh, to prepare for what is going to happen, the eventuality of what's going to happen. The others that don't understand it or become fearful of it, well, that, that's their own business. And what happens is with uh, this understanding, people become joyous, they prepare more, they know that the tumultuous physical uh, changes are going to occur. Uh, many people have written about those. They're unfortunately, they're un- unavoidable. But knowing that we're going to survive all these, plus that nothing of value is going to be lost. Now, 
that's a very significant point people must realise. Nothing of value is going to be lost. So they don't have to worry about their kids or their pets or their relatives or loved ones or anything like that. If they are part of those who are going to continue elsewhere, they are part of the good harvest, as it were, they will make it. There's no need to be concerned in any way. We are going to undergo some form of suffering, or we're suffering now with all these acute measures that, uh, from governments, wars, uh, taxes, and illnesses. We're well, facing. just watch. Uh, we yeah. have a break uh, coming up now, Joseph. But watch. He's, you're so right. Watch what happens with food, the fragmentation of yep. what used to be a, a stable and, and reliable social bedrock. That's all gone now. We have uh, in the former United States all kinds of ethnic minority groups now who, who have no interest whatsoever in becoming American. And so we have further fragmentation that way. The country is being balkanized. If I may, Joseph, I'll read one more short paragraph from your essay of 1998. Mm -hmm. It is not sufficient to simply describe aspects of symptoms of the malady affecting the earth humanity, and all living creatures in its ecosystems, one needs to make an accurate diagnosis and then find the prognosis. Finding out why this is all happening means there must be some solution to this mess. And indeed there is a solution, along with many other spurious postulations of what is going on. I hope to briefly examine these aspects, to know what is going on and why we need to consider the fragmentation which is occurring from all three perspectives, the physical, the psychic or mental, and the spiritual perspective. Failing to do so can only lead to an inadequate database upon which any conclusions can be based. So, very interesting words. 